Hey guys, so we have our September boxy charm to open up and this one feels a little hefty So we're super excited to see what's inside there. We like heavy things in this household What's in there? First thing is a from Hank and Henry. Oh, I think this is the lipstick I keep seeing pictures of everywhere. Why do you you, like, give, you got weirdly... I'm opening the box. Give me the box, too. The box is pretty. You're pretty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have a Hank and Henry Lip Love Luxe Lipstick. Love your lips with Lip Love Luxe Lipstick. Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> Why are there so many L's? There's a trick to this. There's more. Do you have, like, switchblade lipstick? Now I do. All right. This luxurious lipstick. Why the L's? is decorated in a beautiful shimmer coating that dissolves as it apply as it is applied to your lips and is encapsulated in a stunning ruby container. The formula is smooth and leaves a creamy satin finish or moisturizing cream finish. Creme fresh. So yeah. Check it out. Cut you. Cut you so bad you wish I wouldn't have cut you. Alright, this is from Pharmacy. This is, oh, it's like six boxes. Why? Protection. Oh, and the lid's coming off a little bit. I think I might've done that. This is called Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream with Acerola Cherry. I said that wrong, didn't I? Have I? No idea. You didn't say it very confidently. <laughs> I'm not confident. <laughs> like half the words that come on this little freaking card, I am not confident saying. But I'm here, so Zachary Haith can make fun of me on my Twitch stream later. It smells like nothing. That's super duper, because if it's an under eye cream, you don't want it to be heavily fragrant. This is a super hydrating vitamin C rich eye cream that brightens and helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and dark circles. Oh, I need that shit hard. <laughs> Look at me. Oh. You can tell I streamed for six hours last night. Delivers instant radiance to the eye area. Clean, fragrance-free formula. There you go. Perfect. Can wait. All right. Um, this is a tube of something. Oh, sick. What is that? I don't know. Put it up to the camera. Bliss? Does it say bliss? It's Levito. Close enough. This it doesn't say <laughs> bliss anywhere on there. Levito nurturing hand cream. Oh, pop, pop me some of that. Here we go. We're gonna do a live, live review of this right now. Has a safety seal. You're a safety seal. I'm I fun. Safety seal. All right, that's good. All right, we're going to put a little hand cream on here. An area prone to environmental damage. This hand cream is the sweet, earthy scent of patchouli. Oh, my God, it's patchouli. Damn it. Why didn't I read this first? Woo! Oh, this is so gross. If you... Oh, my God. All I can smell is patchouli. <laughs> this... <laughs> Stop. Oh, my God. It, smells it feels like... really nice. Oh, it smells like Woodstock. It a... You were at Woodstock? I was. A time traveler. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> All right. This horrible smelling hand cream. Uh, an, area, an area prone to environmental damage. This hand cream in the sweet, earthy scent of patchouli and vanilla is rich in organic shea butter and plant-based uh, hyaluronic acid. Did I say? I said that right this time. See? Good job. Good beauty makeup person. <laughs> Helping to soothe, soften, and protect hands from environmental damage, dryness, and chafing. Warning, may make you smell like a dirty hippie. It says it on there? No, it doesn't say that. Don't be rude. That's a warning from me. Um, it feels really you. nice. I feel like this is going to be great after I work because I work like 12-hour days and constantly wash and sanitize my hands Don't because I'm testing patients. Don't come home smelling like that. I'm coming home smelling all of like I'm this. Barricade the door. No. All right, um, makeup brushes. Is it makeup brushes? They're all individually wrapped, so. Oh. Is that baggy or distant? Yeah. Ooh. So check out this bag. This Cute. bag is dope as hell. It's it's see it's see through too. See, you can still see my ugly ass face. Um, no, uh, Luna Magic, Los Angeles, New York. Luna Magic, from Luna Magic Beauty, we have the Blended Girl four-piece brush set. Blend it, girl. 
Luna Magic Beauty Luxury B Brush Set is here to stay. This cruelty-free brush set. What? Cruelty-free. It means they're synthetic fibers. I... People don't make fun of me for what I'm about to ask. They used real, like, they used animal hair for makeup brushes? They use animal... All right. I think this MAC brush I have somewhere on here is a real, like, it's real animal hair because MAC is not cruelty free. You this is real. monster! This is also, like, probably 15 years old. It's a very old brush. So the animal has to died. That makes it better. Yeah. Anyway, um, Cruelty Free Brush Set includes all the essential brushes for you to complete your glamorous eye look. Be precise. Be bold. Blend it, girl. <laughs> this plastic smells very strong. I love this, like, Will you stop huffing plastic? No. I do, I do like that. Let me live my life. Like, that's really, that's really uh, neat. That's awesome, like that. and that's the kind of thing that's, like, so pretty that I don't want to throw it out, but I absolutely have no use for this. I don't need this, give it but to I'm going to keep it because it's right. pretty. So, Ooh, last is that thing. a pellet? That's last big. Thing. You got bubble wrap. I got bubble wrap. I can't pop. Bubble wrap break. I got the unpoppable stuff. Hey. You better your... open that or I'll get you. I feel like you're going to do that, and it's going to shoot out of there and, like, hit me in the eye. And you're going to be like, ha, ah, we're even now. Which is what she says when she accidentally hits me in the face with something, and it hits me in the eye. And I'm like, oh, my God, my eye. She's like, ha, ah, we're even now. I never say how we're even now. I just laugh. <laughs> now you know how I feel. All right. We have with us right here, and we'll do the dust cover here. You can, I'll The it. dust cover? <laughs> like it's a book. Like it's a vinyl. <laughs> We have the, ah, uh, see, see, that was dramatic. Does that say hip dot? That says hip dot. This is the hip dot Zion, eye, Zion eyeshadow palette. Conjuring the majestic beauty of the natural sweeping Utah canyons. Take a, take your look to the next level with dramatic reds, deep oranges, and rich purples of Zion. Cruelty free, vegan, talc free. Is that a thing? Mm-hmm. That means it doesn't have any talcum powder in it? Correct. God, I'm so smart. Talc free. You figured it out. You Nobel just, Prize. You just can't let me have that. Nope. Um, paraben free. Don't know what that means. F phthalate free? Phthalate, yeah. Phthalate and mineral oil free. So what the hell is in this if, if it doesn't have any of that stuff? Um. So here we go. Look at that palette. Look at it in all of its glory. All right. I mean, it's okay. So I'm going to go from this over. So what is it? Got sandstone, virgin, canyon, maze. Maze. Surreal, wanderlust, grounded, angel's land. Is it made for teenage girls? It is. Wild river, whisper. But I thought that said vibrator. It says vibration. Vibrator. <laughs> Sublime, Narrows, Majesty, Mystery, and Good Vibration. I feel like the last thing we need right now is another warm eyeshadow palette. I like the purples. I'm into the purples. Point them out. But which, I have, what's your favorite one? I like this. Uh, way to go. I like this one a whole lot. Hey, look. People can see our camera now. And uh, that one is okay. That one seems a lot more pinky in person. I'll tell I'll tell you what I like. I like that one. I like that shimmery one there. How many are shimmery to matte? All right. So shimmery ones are virgin, which is this one right here. Mm -hmm. We have this one all the way here at the end. Right here, this one's surreal. That's shimmery. The one I pointed out is Angel's Landing. That's shimmery. Yeah, that one right there. And then the last one that's shimmery is Sublime down here in the corner right here. That one's nice. I like Sublime. Uh, that one's nice. And then the rest of them are matte. So it's like a 4 out of 15. 
That's not bad. Usually my complaint is there's more shimmery than there is matte. Yeah, I feel like it, I feel like a good they they should have had at least they should have had one more shimmery, like a five and ten. Mm-hmm. I think that would have been better. Um, I've not used this brand before, so I'm pretty excited to see how their formula is. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I mean, it is a pretty palette. I'll put the cover back on that. So I'll use it. I'll see how it applies and wears. Um, Here you go. I don't know how I've never heard of this. I'm sure I have heard of. I've just never like There's really the dust cover back. looked into trying this product. But yep, that's uh, what yeah. we got in the Boxy Charm for September. And uh, transition on into the try on part. And Which then... I will not be here for because I can't tragically, I cannot do makeup. You could. You just have to try. I'm not artistic. All right. See you soon. Bye. Okay. So I primed my eyes with my pretty vulgar base. I'm going to go in with that. Uh, it's kind of like a, a longer packing brush. And I am going to use the violets in this because, or the lavenders, I should say, because I don't really have colors like that. And I think it would be a really fun look. So I'm going to take this really pretty color that I can't read the name of and just put that all over my lid. This appears to be a matte color. It picked up on the brush like really well. So it's a really pretty matte. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera. I feel like it's building up nicely. Cute. Kind of tapping that in there. Yeah, this is lovely. I feel like it's applying really nicely. That's really pretty. I'm very happy with that. Um, I just like all the warm colors. I have those in so many other palettes and I get it's fall vibes. It's September, but I really need other colors in my collection because I have palettes that are just solid neutrals, solid warm neutral palettes. I like, I really like this purple a whole lot. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera. All right, that's both eyes. I'm going to take this blender brush and use <laughs> this first color here, which seems like kind of a a vanilla with a little bit of orange in it. I don't think there's shimmer in it. I swatched it on my finger to try to make sure, but you never know. There's a lot of kickback, obviously, but that's fine. That doesn't really make or break a shadow for me. It's going to blend that out. That is really pigmented. I feel like all these colors probably work really well together too which is nice. You're not just like picking and choosing from seven different palettes, trying to figure out what kind of look you're going to create. Or if you're traveling, then you wouldn't have to bring like 900 things with you. So that's nice. I blended out very nicely. Very happy with that. And then I was thinking like a little pop of shimmer on the, the middle, kind of like a halo eye. This color here has a lot of shimmer to it. So I was thinking that, and then maybe just like a little hint of this purple one down here. I'm gonna use my finger for this just because it's probably going to work better. Sometimes shimmer and glitter don't wanna stick to the brush. So that's really pretty. Just put that on the middle. Wow. It has kind of like a little bit of an oily texture to it, it feels like. Like that slippy feeling you get with very chunky glitter shimmers. This definitely has it. Which I wonder, you know, the staying power of it then, if it's going to slide around or not. That's pretty. Okay. I think I'm just going to finish up the eye look with this stuff. You know, do it on the other eye and then I'll be back. 
All right, so I got the rest of my face on pretty much. I used this Too Faced foundation. I used my tried and true for my powder. I used that bronzer I'd gotten in a different box. Again, to try to, it's just, it's just a little too orange for me. I know it doesn't pick up orange in the pan, but like in all honesty, not in the camera, it's, it's a little orange. This I used for my brows. I believe this is L'Oreal. And then I used uh, the Milk Makeup Brow Setting. I don't know what it is. I used that. I used some e.l.f. concealer under my eyes. And I was thinking, using one of the shadows here for blush, specifically this one, just to see how that would work. I'm going to try with this brush I got uh, from Luna Beauty to see if it works. Is that what it's called? I want to keep Luna Magic. I want to keep calling it Lunar Beauty. I think that's many MUA's company, and I know that's not right, but this, um, I wonder how this is going to go because this seems very pigmented. So, oh yeah, she pigmented. I'm going to have to blend that out. It's pretty though. These are very pigmented. I look like a doll. Um, fan of that. I don't even know if I have a good brush to blend. I'm just going to use a stippling brush. So the good thing about these eyeshadows, they are pigmented, but they do blend really nicely. Probably not the best for blush, but I wanted to use as much of this palette as I could. So that's what we're doing. That's cute. I already applied some eyeliner, so I wanted to use this like really small packing brush to do my lower eyelid. My eyes are just not doing great. They um, are very sensitive right now. The lighting is not working. I don't have the best clarity right now. So I think probably this one we're gonna give a shot because they already feel like they're red so like why not go with a nice wine I'm gonna use my little handheld mirror just to get a little closer because I'm just not seeing great so I'm going to pack that under my lash line I really wonder if this is going to stain I believe that the groom said this is vegan so probably a lot of pressed pigments in here the color payoff is really pretty and not like a whole lot of fallout either so it's my Veramona color switch I think I'm going to use this brush again just to dissipate it a little bit. I don't want to use that big blending brush because I think that's just a little too much for my under eye area. It's going to be way too much oomph, poofing everything around. Uh, let's go with the, I think that's shimmer actually. Let's not do that. Um, maybe this one. That's pretty. I hope that's not shimmer. I can't tell. Just to buff this out a little bit. It seems like it's pretty close to the undertones in that other color I used to blend. So that's nice. So we have a cohesive look. This is definitely not like an everyday look. For people, I'm sure. So it's just a lot of shadow. I think I will use that other brush just to blend it down a little bit more. With nothing on it, I'm going to color switch this one. I 
and she's blending out nicely. I feel like I have a really hard time doing really natural looking eyes. Just because I feel like I get frustrated that my eyes are two completely different shapes after my last surgery. So, you know, go big or go home. You can cover things up, I suppose. Getting everything symmetrical is really the bane of my existence. I like that. So I'm just going to finish everything off and then we're going to get to this amazing, beautiful, sparkly baby. Okay, so I have my lashes on wrapping things up here. I wanted to use this shimmer in the middle as an inner corner highlight so I could use more of the palette here. It's a really pretty like reflective rose gold. I thought it would be nice. That's really pretty. Very happy. It's not like really picking up on camera, but I'll include the still picture. I do like this a lot. This is a lot more of a versatile palette than I had originally thought. I was wrong. I will admit that. This is something you could do a lot of cohesive looks with. And these are a lot of colors that I don't really already have in my collection. So now for the one I've been looking forward to the most is the Hank and Henry lipstick. I've been seeing this all over TikTok, just people like close up videos of them, you know, taking it out and it is so beautiful and sparkly and that doesn't even do it justice. It's so pretty in real life and it, I believe it said that it's not going to be this sparkly when it's on because I will take it off immediately because I can't do sparkles on my lips. That's a sensation I just don't dig. So here we go. Uh, you ever feel bad using something because you're going to destroy how pretty it is? That is not the color I thought this would be. That is not the color. Wow. Um, I mean, it does not go with this look. And I don't see any sparkles. Just kidding. In that corner there, I can see them. I was trying to use the side to line. This was unexpected. I did not think like now you can see it. I did not think that was going to come out of that. That's very interesting. I don't think it at all goes with this look, so I'm probably not going to wear it today. But I mean, it's a pretty color. I love red lipstick uh, with a purple eye. I don't know how much it goes, but like it's a nice formula. Um, I'm not excited about the glitter, but I feel like I, I like it more for the aesthetics of it. I have a lot of red lipsticks, so that's not really a selling point to me. The component is gorgeous. It feels like it's covered in sugar. It's just so pretty. And the, the pop-out feature of it is really cool, so you'd never have to worry about this opening in your purse and then getting everywhere and getting covered with, you know, purse dirt. Something I didn't demo was the under eye cream. I did use that last night and I feel like the formula was great. It didn't bother my eyes. Eye creams are definitely something you have to try and try for a while to see if you really like them. The brushes were really nice. I wasn't really blown away by anything, but I'd love to try more of that brand. You know, they did seem to pick up the product really well, blend it out really nicely. And speaking of the product, I really, really, really like this palette. I feel like the lighting doesn't do it justice, just how pretty these colors are. And like this color down here is more of a green. It comes up kind of like a khaki on camera, but it's gorgeous. And I can't wait to, you know, 
try this more and see what other looks I can make with it. I'm really excited to see how it wears. So I'll check in in a little bit after I've like actually gotten dressed and done some stuff with my day. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right. So just like a little wrap up here. Hank and Henry lipstick pretty left me with some glitter. Not super happy about that. The formula honestly felt really, really nice. Am happy. The under eye cream, obviously with a cream, you, you're not going to know how it performs till you're using it for about a month, but like there is a good amount of product in here and a little dab will do you. So this should last me, I would think, easily until the next boxy charm. And, um, like it, my eyes felt nice this morning, no irritation, nothing like that. So I was really happy about that. The hand lotion is really nice. I don't like the way it smells, but it feels really nice. And just with having to sanitize my hands, probably like a million times every day working in healthcare, this is nice. I don't think I'd be able to smell it through my mask, so maybe I'll just, you know, bring it with me, put it on while I'm taking lunch so it can at least do something and help my little cracked up hands because winter's coming and it's just going to get worse. I'm not looking forward to that. My hands are just going to fall off and I'm going to have to do everything with little nubs, but whatever. I put the slip cover back on this eyeshadow palette for some dumb reason. This, I'm actually like really pleasantly surprised with. I originally, like I said, I was, you know, kind of bummed that it's another warm neutral palette, but it's really not. The more that I got to use it and understand the tones and everything like that, it is really purple based and it's also really orange based, but everything seems to be very cohesive and work together. And the quality of these eyeshadows was very surprising how blendable they were, how highly pigmented they were. You know, I didn't do a bunch of swatches before I tried them just because I wanted to jump in, you know, with no knowledge of how they were going to work or apply or anything. And I was really, really, really happy. I feel like my shimmer is still present. Everything still looks really good. I was cleaning for probably like, I don't know, three hours. And then I watched a movie and I ate a little bit and it's just, it's lasted really well. It's worn really nicely. It's a bummer that I don't think I could use a lot of these shadows, you know, my every day at work because like who, who really wants to be roomed by someone that has crazy eyeshadow right now because everything's so serious, but like these are so pretty and I'm so glad. And this really makes me want to try out, you know, other palettes that this brand has to offer because this is really nice. I recommend this. I really like this. You know, can't go on enough about it, but I think, oh, the brushes, the brushes are fine. I love makeup brushes. They're, you know, the more I have, the less often I have to clean them, which is a problem <laughs> that I don't like to admit. I hate washing makeup brushes. It's boring and stupid. And if I could just, you know, have new, that's terrible. If I could just buy makeup brushes rather than wash the ones I have, I would but I can't. And I have a lot of makeup brushes, but they're fine. They're great. I like that little bag that they came in, the iridescent one. It's super cute. I don't have any use for it. I don't know. I could put pencils in it. I don't need that, but super cute. Wonderful. Yay brushes. What did you get in your boxy charm? Did you get anything, you know, the same that I got? Did you get different palette? Did you get different, you know, skincare products? Did everybody get one of these Hank and Henry lipsticks? I'd love to know. Leave me a comment down below. Have you tried these products before? You know, have you tried the eye cream before? What were your results like? Let me know. Let me know all the things. Just talk to me in the comments and I'll respond back. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. And don't forget to like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you're just like super entertained by that. That's so entertaining. I, I'll never get over that. <laughs> Please hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You could like the video if you've raging adult ADD as well. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator, and I hope 
everyone is having a good September and you're getting ready for spooky time because you all know I am. See you later, guys.